very good evening friends and uh, in this video we are going to learn some basic fundamentals of the Vue.js so right now I have my application running and ready and in this application I have nothing at present so here you can say that in app.view I have added simply one uh, this menu is there which is home and one is about so let's start with adding one to more menus so here I simply copy these two and paste two more times and remove one because I want five okay fine let's remain six so one is home another is I call it as Java Java programming and uh, another one I can this home one I can rename it to as Python and this one I can call it as Spring Boot and this one will be my form so I name it as contact us now these are the routes so the Java programming should be routed as Java Python with Python and uh, Spring Boot as Spring Boot contact as as contact and about is fine so now save and the refresh so you will find that these it's refreshing so here these menus will be added it's saying some error is there perhaps okay it's starting okay so there now it's not looking good so let me add some CSS to it so it is here and this is link so some basic code is already provided so there in the navigation I provide some margin so margin from the top I provide 5 pixel and uh, right I provide 30 pixel bottom 5 pixel and the left also I provide some 50 pixel because I want good spacing between them and uh, okay so now you see that they will be placed a little farther from one another and here okay I messed up here it should be inside this in the nav a the nav here so these elements now will be placed little farther so now this looks little better okay but if you click on them so home is connected the home route is uh, about is also connected but no such page is there for these two so one by one we can add first I add with uh, Java programming so for that I create one page in the view folder so this is the view folder there I create a page called as Java programming dot view so this is created now I use the snippet v base and with the CSS template so this one and there I simply add one h3 text called Java programming and now h3 close now I have to render this piece so first I go to this home dot view and there 
I can link or better I just simply go into the route folder here so why there is error h3 h3 is fine okay so in uh, inside the route there is an index folder so this one yes so here I can add so now I simply copy and paste it here and make this path as Java and this home now will be Java programming this is the name of our view so Java programming and this component name is same Java programming Java programming okay so this is linked so since I have created only one page so I should find save so it's unexpected way okay so here we need to provide one comma and that was missing so spelling is fine okay oh I think because we have created the space between the name that should not be there so let me rename it as Java without any space between the name Java programming dot or better I call it as Java dot view save this one name this one here as java here also i name it as java and inside the here index filter is fine home side so in the app dot view also we have added so this is java fine i think right now we should not have any issues so java save java is not defined java dot view so i need to import this java here so import java from dot or slash views slash java dot v u e save and now refresh the page yes if you click on the so java programming this text text is now appearing so it's fine now i go to my home page here and suppose if i want to create one grid so in the component folder first I'll create one grid call it as my grid dot view so inside this my grid dot view I'll use the snippet v base css and there I will create okay first let me show you this index dot html inside the index dot html we are using this bootstrap i have linked it and that's why here you see that the class is container fluid so here inside this we are adding our components in the code everything goes here because this is our id app now what I do that simply if it is there so I want to my rename my this template as something called row so I rename this as class equals row and inside this class I want three columns where I want to use my card 
so for that I need the data so in this export default I create one data component data segment it is called so here and now return return okay there I want to create one details so details and this is the array inside the array I'll use key value pair means object I will use and these will be named as ID this is you can say the first and there next one I can use as image image right now I don't have any image here so for the next I will use some information and for better I use title first or find information information and then I use title so these are the elements and now since I have three cards so we need three such objects so this is one this is two and this is three but right now I do not have any information here I don't have image also so I have my website and I go there and copy some images from there so this is open a new window because I need images and we will be getting the images from there so I name it as edufreaks edufreaks.com and from there here this is the website and I want to copy these images so I will take one here so right click copy image address and then the first one I place it here second image I take this one copy image address and put it in second one here then I take this image and then I place it into this segment now let me provide the title so first was international baccalaureate second one was IGCSC second title was IGCSC IGCSC third title is what it was MBA so I say MBA and in the information I write some random text here later when everything will be embedded then I'll add some more text to it so these are some random stuff anything ABCD I just now I have to add this my into the home dot view so there here first let me import so import my grid dot view from single code at the rate components because my grid dot view is in the component folder so component slash my grid dot vue okay import my grid dot view here is not required okay now here I registered my my grid and provide a comma here and then inside this my grid is this is my grid so I can mm. so my since it is made up of two words my and grid because the camel case representation so this will be say used as a HTML tag as if the my is separated by a slight dash so my grid and uh, here it is fine 
okay now i go to the my grid and there inside this here i will use a division called class equals calls dash call dash excel dash 4 and inside this division i will use my first i need my title so there okay let me use my for loop here so i'll use v4 v4 equals then you write detail in details because the name of our data is details so we'll be running a for loop inside the view component so it's called v4 is detail in details so details then you need to provide the key so you can write here colon key and this i can use as this id so this detail dot id so detail dot id because see i have written here id1 this should be the id2 these keys should be unique values so it should be always unique so here this is detail1 and then i want my title so title should be in the s2 tag and there i write detail because this is the object now one detail is this one one by one detail so with the help of this detail we will be using detail dot title okay then i want my image so img src so now i have to use this is v bind or equivalent to v bind so colon src equals detail dot image and then alt i can take it as a detail dot title that can act as a alt detail dot title okay this part is done and now we have we need a paragraph paragraph and then inside this paragraph you can write uh, detail dot information information okay so this is my paragraph closing tag this curly bracket should be here okay now let me provide one button also because now if you click on the buttons you can get the better details it will be routed to some other page called so here i write button and there i write simply no this one is not required because we just read more read more dot dot and then b u t t o n button is closed now okay now save and the refresh so it says that the h2 element is missing and tag okay so h2 it does not have the closing tag so h2 is closed img is closed here fine this is paragraph is closed button is closed okay now it looks better so i go on yes so there you see that our grid is is now working so now this image looks very odd because these two have this color rectangular shape but this white is mixes with the background so white so i change this image rather than so that it can look little better so which are the images we are having now this one i can take this image this looks blue so the first image was not looking nice so i remove 
सेव रिफ्रेश यस सो नाउ इट्स फाइन नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड सम टेक्स्ट हियर इन दिस द फर्स्ट वन इज मेडि इंटरनेशनल बैका लॉरिएट आई हैटन दैट इज नाउ चेंज टू मेडिकल इंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन एन ई ई टी दिस इज कॉल एज नेशनल एलिजिबिलिटी टेस्ट नेशनल एलिजिबिलिटी test is an examination conducted to admit students who want to pursue medical courses so this exam is based on the performance of the student in physics chemistry and biology okay i am adding this so that i want it to have some sufficient amount of word so that the page will be filled nicely so yes now this is looking better same thing i can copy and paste because i don't have that much time to type in this one and there also okay so here it is now suppose you see this logo this logo doesn't look good here we don't need this you go on to the home dot view and this image and this is this is the prop so this is also we don't need so welcome so if i have removed the prop then i need to remove the prop from welcome dot view also so this is welcome to so this is the prop so this is the prop its name is message and its type is string so this is how we can pass the props so now let me see yes now it looks better so you can provide some more uh, style to it so that these names any at igcsc or if you want some spaces between them then you can have this now suppose if you want to create a two grid structure like the one image with some information and some text then again you can create another my grid kind of feature and then and but if you want to suppose if you want to create a replica of similar thing then we can use it like in the home section here if i simply this drop down my grid if i just copy my grid and paste it here then it will see one more level but right now doesn't look because if i keep on uh, adding these stuff and the same image then it doesn't look nice so it needs is it possible that here i can pass our prop i can pass this object as prop so let's try so this is my view and this whole detail from this section i copy so so i remove it from here and i go to the main view and inside this data folder here i paste it so this is pasted here now i want to pass this whole detail 
as a prop so this is my grid so there i write details equal detail details it means this is the prop and this is now bound to this detail so both having the same name but it does not make because there it will be accessed using this detail so i go into my grid dot view and i need to register this props and here i can use details this way also we can do migrate data props okay so now let me run my terminal again and there you see it's working the very same way so now here you see that i have named it details so inside this home this if i because our data name here is details okay and here i am using it as so suppose if i type it as info infos i make it plural and there it is details so here i name it as infos infos and then there will be not any difference in the structure or look and feel okay it's there so now advantage of this that suppose if i create another info the very same way like this is my uh, info zero suppose if i have another one here and uh, okay for sake of convenience i simply copy this whole data copy c and then paste it here and i name it as infos 2 okay then what i do that let me change the images so that if i simply copy some images like this one uh copy image address and then inside in the infos here i change this wrong place v okay now i'm running out of time so i mean to say that from here if you keep on sending the different data different data to the same grid it will look differently so here i simply call this grid again and here at the place of infos i write infos 1 i think i have named it as infos 2 so infos 2 this one and there you see it is very much same 
so here if you refresh now you see the infos is same so what i'm trying to say that if you have same structure the same kind of grid but if you pass different data the pattern and the structure will be same but the content will be different and this is how it is called as reusability of the code or reusability of the component with the different data sets thank you very much this is all for this video and in the next video we will learn about some other important details thank you very much have a nice time